Hi, meteorologist Tony Petrarca in the Pinpoint 12 Forecast Center. You've clicked on the Weather Now link. Yet another dry, cool, and a breezy day. But we're tracking weather changes over the next several days, uh, Friday, Saturday, and into Sunday. Of course, the weather's always changing, but those three days uh, will have noticeable changes. Let's first head outside as of this recording, uh, which is around, uh, what time is it? Uh, it's about 7.15 down in Newport. See, the clouds have been on the increase. Uh, for the dry clouds for now, uh, the evening will stay dry. Sometime after midnight, we may get a couple of rain showers, but heading out this evening dry. And it will stay above freezing tonight, even though it's very cool. Uh, temperature's not nearly as cold as the last uh, couple of nights. You look at the high temps today, and yeah, we briefly made it to 50 uh, across inland areas. Notice places like uh, Newport, at the 44, so cooler. We've been really talking about this all week, how the sea breeze will be pretty pronounced, especially this time of year. The ocean is cold, so really any puff of wind off the water is really going to do the temperatures in. And we think that on Saturday and even Sunday, even though we're forecasting mild temperatures over the weekend, you really have to be uh, away from the coastline. So what we're keeping an eye on, which includes milder air ahead over the next uh, several days, not as cold tonight, Mid-50s for Friday afternoon, but it does come with rain showers. An approaching cold front will bring uh, some extra clouds and some showers, mainly during the afternoon uh, and then drying out by Friday night. Now, we are much milder on Saturday, but any chance of getting to 61 degrees inland, away from the coastline, away from that sea breeze, still going with some scattered showers on Sunday. Not so much during the morning, but rather by a Sunday afternoon as that cold front draws closer. I know we've been showing this map now a lot the last several days, but can't stress enough uh, tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday, especially Saturday, uh, to enjoy any mild air. You've got to be in that red shading away from the sea breeze. Uh, water's running at about 39 degrees. So you throw in uh, that component of wind, you know, coming in off the ocean, off the water, and so westerly, Narragansett, Narragansett Bay, Westport, New Bedford, Cape and Islands. Uh, these t areas are much cooler. And in some cases, you know, 10, 12, 13 degrees cooler than inland areas. Clouds are increasing right now this evening, but uh, dry clouds. You see some showers in uh, upstate New York. This is ahead of a cold front. And these will be arriving uh, sometime after midnight. So dry this evening, a couple of random showers uh, late tonight, nothing really widespread. But this is ahead of a cold front across the uh, Midwest and the Great Lakes. And what will happen is this front will will draw closer to us on, um, on Friday afternoon. And with it will come some uh, scattered rain showers out ahead of it. Uh, some uh, gusty southerly breezes will boost the temperatures up a little bit into the uh, middle 50s as the front draws closer. Uh, let's take a look at a, a more detailed uh, forecast here starting off this evening and watch the uh, the time bar up on top there. Uh, readings initially this evening that'll be in the, um, the lower 40s and a generally uh, increasing cloud cover this evening and overnight. Here we are at midnight and while it is cool notice the temperatures I mean they're well above freezing so it's not as cold as the uh, last couple of nights take you into uh, Friday morning at around 8 a.m. Mostly cloudy, uh, cool but not cold. I don't see really much in the way of rain during the morning. But as we get into the, uh, the afternoon and evening, you start to see more green here. And uh, some scattered showers working in. Here we are at about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Looking at temperatures inland in the 50s and upper 40s along the coastline. But by Friday evening, Friday night, a lot of this is moving out. So your Friday night looks dry. Uh, Mild, actually. Uh, temperatures, once again, Friday night should stay well above freezing. So for this evening, clouds increasing. Cool but not cold. First half of the night looks dry. Temperatures will actually hold in the, um, in the lower 40s. And then by uh, tomorrow morning, a mostly cloudy sky. Uh, much milder. Now, we were uh, 25 degrees this morning, uh, forecasting 45 early tomorrow morning. Uh, essentially dry, but better chances of some precipitation, some scattered rain showers by Friday afternoon. Mid-50s, unfortunately the cloud cover is going to keep the temperatures in check. If we didn't have any clouds on Friday afternoon, the temperatures easily would have been up into the uh, lower 60s, but 
We're going to keep it down to about 55 because of the cloud cover and some of the uh, scattered showers that will be uh, coming through the uh, second half of the day. All right, seven-day forecast. Saturday still looks like uh, the milder day, but again, uh, inland areas warmer, coastline cooler, uh, temps ranging. I mean, you can see westerlies at 51, while, you know, Smithfield is 10 degrees warmer at 62. So you get the, the general idea as to the, uh, the uh, temperature progression. As we uh, advance things into Sunday, still kind of a half and half day where it's dry in the morning. Uh, cold front arriving during the afternoon will bring in some uh, rain showers and looking at uh, temperatures that will briefly get into the uh, upper 50s before things start to cool down uh, by Sunday night and especially uh, early next week. So changeable weather this weekend. Saturday should be the drier day and milder day. Sunday, some rain showers by the afternoon and evening. And even on uh, Friday, tomorrow afternoon, keep an eye to the sky for some scattered showers. That's the latest. Check back with me tonight at 10 and 11 o'clock on Eyewitness News for your updated forecast.